windows only why is there only one of the chimneys pumping out smoke pretty sure there used to be two maybe it's a new bug so uh, yeah in the last episode I recorded uh, well I recorded two episodes yesterday but um, the video recording was so stuttery it was completely unusable um, completely unusable so I've completely redesigned how OBS records and hopefully uh, we'll be able to get something uh, better for you guys to look at as a result um, it's it's frustrating um, the nets do work now and the whole time that I was having problems with it was because of a bug in the game there's no two ways about it um, so I took it out yesterday as a test and I noticed a whole bunch of other bugs I had 41 nets, even though I can only actually have 40 on the boat. Um, I repaired two nets, but I couldn't sell them. Um, when I went out to sea, I went out with four members of crew on the boat. And when we got out there, it, would, it appeared that we only had two. So when I was trying to get them to do things, only two of them showed up. But um, fortunately, all four were there. It was just that the control screen where you drag the crew members to do different jobs the crew were there they were just invisible they were hidden behind an invisible layer and when I figured out which squares they were in I was able to drag them out back to the um, to, the, to the relaxing area and um, and then I had all four members of the team back again but it was quite difficult to figure figure that out to me a while to figure out that they were actually there um, but I can't show you any of this footage unfortunately because the footage quality was so so bad um, the sonar in my humble opinion still does not work properly um, I also discovered uh, I know one of the one of my viewers wrote me a message and said that you can only drop uh, deep lines if you're in a hundred meters or more depth uh, and that's true but technically you can drop it anywhere you'll just catch far less swordfish and tunes, so you'll catch one instead of three, something like that. Um, so that's cool, that's a step in the direction of um, more realistic gameplay, I quite like that. I quite like the fact that they have tried to make it harder for you to find fish, although what I'm finding at the moment, especially on the sonar, is that um, like every single fish in the ocean is just in one place, and when you find that one place there's every single kind of fish there. So it's a, it's a bit weird, it's a bit strange. Um, and yeah, well, there's a few things, but you know, it's difficult to go, I mean, they're about an hour long each one. It's difficult to go over them and uh, sort of revisit them now after the event. Oh, look at this, look, 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 look. we got a smack bang on the fishing machines. It's only 74 meters depth, so we've got to keep going. So we're after uh, tuna fish and um, swordfish today, but uh, I've already tried dropping it in depths below 100 meters. And uh, like I said, you only catch one fish as opposed to three. So that's quite a significant reduction of profit. But uh, yeah, it's good. It's good because there's more to do in the game now. It's, it's more involved. It's, I mean, it looks gorgeous, doesn't it? This is an absolutely gorgeous game. One of the things they said they've done is improve the lighting on boats, and I've got to say, this does look so much better. This actually looks realistic now, which is great, absolutely brilliant. One thing I discovered as well, purely by luck, if you're hovering over a button and you press zoom in, then you kind of zoom in. If you're hovering over the screen, which is probably where you would want to zoom in, you end up with the binoculars, which is a little, a little bit strange. <laughs> In my humble opinion, I, I think that's maybe something they want to look at and change. I just, I think if you zoom in and out without right clicking for the binoculars, you should just be able to zoom in a little bit. I mean, I'm not looking for sort of that level of zoom. That's a bit too much. But you know, something, something would be nice. Something rather than nothing would be nice. Right, so we're nearly in the right depth. So I've been 
spending a bit of time playing this and I think you see where that 1000 meter ends that is where our boat is is what I've discovered so um, and, I, and I think that depth meter there is relative to our boat position there so we should any moment as you can see come into some deeper water So slightly. 92 meters, 93, 94, 97, 98, 99, and 100 meters. Okay, right, wait. So let's kill the engine. So nice having a throttle. I just wish it worked as it's supposed to. Right, oh man, this game looks so damn good in 4K, it really does. I hope I can get the footage to you. I really, really do. All right, so we have to go external camera amaro. See how it's coming out onto the, onto the deck. Assuming the position, we've got a little bit of the Barora Borolis. Barora Borolis, I can't remember how to say it. I haven't been drinking, I promise. Right. Let's get him to drop the first one in. Just put a bit of throttle on. And a new thing I've seen that they've added. Yeah, the Aurora Boralis up there. Though. Not much of the Aurora Boralis, but uh, enough. Stunning, isn't it? Isn't that stunning? that he's chucking out unbaited lines because we've got 20 that are baited and 20 which are not baited. I haven't specifically told him to chuck the baited ones in, I'm just kind of hoping that he's smart enough to figure that out all by himself. We'll see. Oh, what a fantastic view that is. That just looks unbelievably amazing. This is what this game does best in my opinion. I'm so hoping that this footage gets captured because this looks absolutely gorgeous. So gorgeous, I'm not even worried about whether or not we're still in deep enough water. I just want to try and capture this moonset. Is that, is that a thing? You got a sunset, you have a moonset? Does that exist or have I just made it up? Have I just invented the word? Trevor's. We'll do a hard turn here. 14 lines technically are going to be way too much. It's going to fill the boat up. I mean, if we get any catches here, it's going to fill the boat up 10 times over. We'll dismiss all and bring up the sonar. You can see, yeah, we've got some swordfish in the water. Looking pretty good. Outrageous. I can see I'm, I'm, I'm checking my CPU usage at the moment and we're, we're smacking up on 99% and 100% and I suspect when we hit 100% that's what's killing the uh, recording. Even though uh, OBS is meant to be using the, GP, the GPU, it doesn't seem to be using the GPU as much as I would like. Occasionally it jumps up to 100%, but uh, 
most of the time, most of the time it doesn't. Right, so I think this next line is going to be the last one that's baited, and we'll see what happens. Way more fun with the wheel and the throttle. There you go. So now we're down to the 20 that are not uh, prepared. So, dismiss all of those. I can come in here. Put a bit of back on there. So, a bit of some food. Anyone else need food? No? Okay. Again, somebody cooking. Seems to be the most sensible thing to do. Alright, guys. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chill my way back to the first pop, uh, first deep line that we landed and uh, drop the anchor and wait until they're ready to be pulled in. We're quite far out so uh, this could be a problem because I think I'm going to need to uh, maybe if, if we get good results here then I'm going to have to pull in maybe five at a time and then go back to shore. And they've also reduced the capacity of the ocean runner from 60,000 kilograms to 40,000 kilograms. Bit of a shame. Uh, I'm not sure why they did that. Presumably to make the game a little bit harder or whatever, but that's fine. We can live with that. I do very much like and appreciate the fact that you can't deep line properly unless you're in deep water. Although I must say that. I think, I don't know, I, I still think you could just drop a line in 10 feet of water and pull up one fish. So you, you could still pull up uh, swordfish in the bay or uh, you know, right by the port where you dock. I just, I've proved previously that it's possible uh, and I think that's why they've changed it perhaps. But um, yeah, I still think you could get away with it if you wanted to. It might not be the most profitable thing in the world. But I still think you'd... When you weigh up the fact that you're not using any fuel, it doesn't take any time. You know, you could put 40, 40 pots down and pull them in in the same time that it takes you to do 20 deep, deep in the sea, so... It's kind of six of one, half a dozen of the other. So the CPU is really high. And one of the problems I've, I've noticed is the emulator that I'm using to get control of the to be able to use the wheel and the, and the stuff. I'm just going to try and minimise those and see if that brings the CPU down. I still have control of the boat. I still have control of the throttle. So that's good. Uh, yeah, the emulator's using quite a bit of CPU. OBS Studio is like 20%, which is quite high. I don't know why it's that high. Oh, let's do this test, the zoom thing. Right, let's say I want to be zoomed in like that and I come out and I go back in. Oh, it stays there. Thank you so much, developers. I have asked them to do that for so, so long. Oh, hang on. No, it's not remembering my zoom level. Oh, well, that's annoying. No. Bugger. I thought they were doing it. I thought they'd done it, but they haven't done it. They lied to me. So what zoom level are they talking about then? Presumably, presumably that zoom level. I mean, who cares about that? You can't even zoom out very far. So let's say I'm zoomed right in, and then I go first person and back out. It keeps me zoomed where I was. Oh, okay. I'd, I'd be personally, I'd be far more impressed if they did, if they did do the uh, the same thing, but with the um, with the map. What is that in front of me? It's freaking me out, Tad. This 
into the white lights every now and then. I'm thinking, is it a boat? So another thing I've noticed recently, uh, one, of, one of the recent recordings, is stuff that you can see, stuff that you can see, look at that, I can really see those lights. Yeah, they're just off to the left, almost bang in front of me. I can really see them. If I go inside, they're not there at all. Oh, oh, oh. Lighthouses. So the, the draw distance in the external camera view is, seems to be much further than in first person. In first person with binoculars, in fact, which is a little odd. I'm not sure why that's the case, but it seems to be. Right, okay. Um, so I have the very best searchlights available, known to man. Still, I can't see a bloody thing. I'm hoping by the time I'm due to pull these in, it'll be kind of light. It's so hard to get the engine down to zero. Best thing to do, put it in the middle, cut the engine. That's the best way to find neutral, I've discovered. Right, uh, let's go first person. Let's stand up. Let's, uh, let's check the map real quick. They've been in the water for one hour. 32 minutes so let's sleep for let's try 15 hours ah oh, isn't that beautiful you can see them all popping up delightful absolutely delightful crap they've all gone blue so we're gonna have a problem now i should have uh, done less hours never mind right get haul in chaps Game on. So I can leave the throttle in slightly forward like that and um, what's cool is it will just keep going. So at the moment, at least, you can still pick up lines at maximum speed. It really doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Just one. Oh, that's not good. We were hoping for three there. And again, just one. This is not quite what I was uh, looking for, I'll be honest. Fantastic. That went the wrong side of the boat. Again, trying to get these cinematic shots does sometimes cause me to uh, miss one or two of them. Or even 12 or 13 of them, to be honest. Did that go under? <laughs> oh my god! All right, okay, I'll tell you what. We'll grab this one and we'll go around and get the other one again.
again only one fish that really sucks why are we getting such small numbers that I don't understand oh I forget I can't bloody turn the camera whilst I'm throttling that's one of the, the limitations of the game at the moment because it doesn't actually support controllers um, and I'm having to use this emulator system if I've got the throttle on or I'm steering I can't use the mouse I can still turn using the controller um, and I guess based on that if you were using an Xbox controller for example and then tried to use the mouse at the same time I think you'd have the same problem I suspect it's built-in issue. Um, I just hope they're true to their word and that they uh, actually do implement some sort of control support and wheel support. Especially wheel support, I think that's important. Again, only one. Well, that's really quite disappointing. This is not going to be a good haul at all. Now fortunately for us, well at least uh, the last time I went to port, the prices for tuna and swordfish were pretty high. So, um, you know, even though this isn't ideal, there's a very good chance we'll still get a quarter of a million or something like that. Which is nowhere near what I should be getting. And I don't know why uh, we're so low. Have we got two this time? better. Maybe I'm just picking them up too early. Maybe they need another couple of hours. Two's better. Two's good. Not as good as three, obviously. And I've heard on the grapevine, although seen no evidence of, people sometimes catching four on a single deep line. Now that would be something to behold. But as yet, I have not seen it. Uh, I'm, uh, one other thing I, I mentioned in my previous video that you'll never get to see because the quality was so bad I really hope they do something with the rain because at the moment these look like arrows being fired at me and when you look at the sea there's no ripple effects there's no rain splash effects there's nothing that might be something that's too difficult to do but if they just made the rain look a bit better I'd be happy So um, it's difficult to remember to say things that I wanted to say in the first episode which I recorded about six hours ago, eight hours ago, something like that, a long time ago. Um, but I'm going to try and make these videos much shorter and just sort of show the highlights. Um, and if you want to see the long version, like the full fish, then you either need to come and join the stream or you need to subscribe to the channel become a, a, a member I think it's like a pound a month or something I don't know to be honest what the minimum price is um, just to because I, I see no benefit to having these really long videos in the public domain because I just get so much grief from people so I'd much rather just cut the videos down keep them nice and short so that you know all these people with short attention spans can just enjoy the video and those who want to see a bit more can you know you can join the stream watch the live stream and uh, see that content for free uh, but if you miss the stream then you're gonna have to pay like a monthly subscription which I think is a pound I think the minimum is a pound and then you can watch I don't know what four four if we do it weekly and more if we do it every three days like ten episodes or something for a quid which I think is quite a fair price if that's what the price is I haven't really looked into it very much this is the plan. I only got back from holiday yesterday and I spent all of today trying to set up the stream, uh, OBS, so that I can stream. Um, and like I said, I, I did do a couple of recordings because I'm a bit behind on the schedule. The first one came out okay. and I, I quickly checked that video to make sure that it was recording okay. And on the most part, it looked fine. 
like there, there's a small part there where I take the boat out and I use the throttle and stuff, and that looked fine. But um, yeah, everything I recorded after that point, awful, so stuttery. It's like walking through an art gallery. Really bad, really, really bad. And the catch that we got then was pretty awful as well. But, you know, this is quite frustrating because there definitely were swordfish on the uh, on the sonar. We're definitely in deep enough water. So I would have expected to do slightly better than we have done, but, you know, it's not the end of the world. And um, in many ways it's more realistic. So, uh, yeah, I look at it as a positive. It's, uh, the game has finally taken step towards being more realistic. I like that. I'm very grateful for that. I haven't even had a single three yet, have I? Let's take that off a second so I can see what this one is. Six hundred and eighteen kilograms. That's not the kind of numbers we're looking for, really, guys. Better than out, but not by much. If I can get some aerial footage of this, yeah, that'd be quite cool tricky though, because I can't see what's coming in front of me. Oh, I totally missed it. By a country bloody mile. I just wish you could zoom out a little bit further because then I'd be able to do that so, so easily. I'm not making it easy for them. Turning hard to port whilst accelerating. I'm not sure they even pulled one in that time. It looked like, uh, it looked like they missed. It always looks like I'm much, much further to one side than I really am. I always get confused. That's a swordfish. Just the one mind. See like that one there. Completely missed it. But I, it looked to me like I was too close to it. So I only turned in at the last moment. ourselves lined up properly.
last one, is it? Is that the last one? Bloody hell, well, that was pretty quick. Alright chaps. not working why oh because you have to do them in the order that you have fine fine, fine, fine fine right so we do not have to have that's pretty disgraceful isn't it six thousand kilograms that's not not the kind of result we were looking for but you know, if this is the new way that the game is going to play out, then I'm all for it, to be honest with you. I'd much prefer it be hard than be bloody easy. All right, let's have a look-see here. What have we got on the fish prices? Yarmouth. I still think you should be able to click these to remove them so that you can just see the one you're interested in because they get a bit sort of on top of each other quite a lot. So what are we looking at here? Swordfish, 46. Tuna, 37. 47, 39. 48, 37. So Lundberg or Dennis Point, basically. And who's closest? That's Dennis Point, isn't it? So let's just go there. And yes, I know I can just click on it and go straight to Dennis Point, but I'd rather do it this way. So I think uh, it's not going to be good money. Let's put it that way. It's not going to be the kind of money we were looking for. A bit nervous because I have seen the CPU hit 100% quite a few times during this recording, so there's a very good chance that this recording is not going to be usable either. Okay, 294,000. Everything was double the price, which is good. Uh, normally, 20 pound per kilo, nearly double the price, and again, nearly double the price. So we've got a lot for swordfish. 18 on board, just four tuna. That gives us 3.8 million, which is good, but it's not great. So let's uh, put fishing gear, let's bait the deep lines, and uh, 